guys, my name's Rich. This is my grandfather's classical guitar and of the three guitars that I've got, it's the one that I would run in and grab if the, if the house was on fire and you only got time. This is the guitar that I would, I would keep because of its sentimental value really. Uh, I started playing the electric when I was 12. A couple of years later, uh, my grandfather gave this to me when he stopped playing and uh, introduced me to Spanish Romance or, or Romanza uh, and a few other pieces and it, it really opened the acoustic side of the world and unfortunately a piece on the saddle which is, is cracked and broken it's given me the opportunity to repair it and, and upgrade it so this is an Alhambra 5P it's from sometime in the 80s uh, my grandmother bought it for my grandfather and it's got a plastic saddle and a plastic nut um, what I'm going to try to do today and if it fails then this video will never get made and, and I'll be taking the guitar to a luthier um, is I'm going to replace the nut and the saddle while I've got it de-stringed uh, with a bone pair uh, so that's what I'm going to attempt to do now so what I've got to do the job is bone, nut and saddle, uh, which you can pick up quite cheaply here in the UK, uh, they were £7 each, pieces of sandpaper, and I've got various different sheets with different uh, protections, a uh, set of files of various widths and uh, shapes, which I will be <coughs> using to create the six channels through which the set of strings will go. So the first thing I did was I lined up the saddle on top of the old saddle and I used a pencil to trace around that um, and, and that gave me the, the shape that I needed to, to cut out from this new piece of piece of bone. And then it was time to get the hacksaw out to do 90% of the work. I tried sanding at first, it was just going to take far too long, too many sheets. And then I got to use the sandpaper to finesse that shape, put a curve on it um, in order to make sure there's no pinching with the strings and on about the third attempt it fit snugly into, into the saddle slot on the bridge of the guitar. And then it was time to move on to the nut and the first thing I did was I got the old nut, new nut, ruler and pencil, line the two up uh, and and uh, make sure I get the channels in the right spaces for the right widths. And then the second part uh, was to just do a comparison of the two, make sure they're all fine. Uh, and then it was on to the files to get the filing done. Um, file those channels out. That was all absolutely fine, no, no problems there. And I then used sandpaper to get the curve uh, for the top part of the nut to make sure that the strings didn't have any undue um, tension or pinch points um, going forwards and then on about the fifth attempt it was the right thickness I just had to keep sanding it down in order to for it to fit into that groove I was going to talk about how I was done and everything went well and point out the bits that I'm happy with and not happy with but the uh, the dog jumps on my lap <laughs> so I'll do it later so here she is she has a new nut new saddle new strings the action I think is slightly higher than it was and I'm noticing it probably a bit more than I was expecting based on the saddle. So next time I restring I'll probably sand the saddle down uh, some more now that I've you know, got out of this. The, the confidence to do a bit more DIY guitar stuff really. I've had a little play and so far 
I can't hear the difference between uh, the old and the new. Um, but I'm really happy that I've done this experiment and I would encourage others to have a go, you know. Uh,